Today's weather is sponsored by Expressway Car Wash Lube and Deli with two locations in Paducah, Kentucky. Good afternoon. It's March 6, 2017. I'm meteorologist Bo Dodson, and the focus of this video will be the potential for some severe thunderstorms tonight, especially over the western half of the region. We take a look here at about 1145, 1150 in the morning. We see showers on radar spreading northeastward on strong southerly winds. This light rain will be with us on and off through much of today. We're not expecting anything heavy this afternoon. Can't completely rule out some lightning. Let's move on to the Storm Prediction Center's severe weather outlook for today, and most of the area is now included in at least some risk. Let's talk about this. The light green area here is sub-severe weather. That means general thunderstorms not anticipated to be severe. You see this slightly darker green area. That's a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms could be some reports of hail and gusty winds but not anticipated to be widespread we move up a notch into the yellow area this is the slight risk for severe thunderstorms and what slight risk actually means is that some scattered severe thunderstorms are likely to occur but perhaps perhaps not widespread damage, widespread wind damage or hail, just a few reports of severe weather anticipated. We move up one more notch into the enhanced risk. This is how the Storm Prediction Center uh, lays out their risk zones. They kind of ramp up their wording. The enhanced risk is where severe thunderstorms are likely to occur and probably going to be quite a few reports of hail and damaging winds. Now we are expecting a squall line tonight, a line of thunderstorms, and I'll show you that on the HRRR model here in a minute. The main concern will be some isolated tornado risk as well early on in this event, which will begin tonight for the most part, late this afternoon tonight, well to our west. Maybe some reports of large hail, half dollar size, and maybe a greater risk for tornadoes in this orange zone. If a few supercells form ahead of the squall line, we'll have to keep an eye on those. Those are the ones that produce the longer track tornadoes. Now, this is not an ideal setup for supercells, but with that said, anytime you have a situation like this, you could have a couple of storms form ahead of the squall line, ahead of the line of storms, and those could be more severe than the other storms. Let's take a look at the zoomed in view of the severe weather outlook. Now, usually I tell you don't pay too much attention to the color differences. And last week that was true. We all were in a moderate risk. Some of us were in enhanced risk. But it looked like a tornado and severe weather outbreak last week. We all knew that. Every forecaster was on board for that. This time around, we're looking more of a squall line, a line of thunderstorms pushing through the area with some wind damage, maybe some reports of hail, and a smaller risk for tornadoes, not anticipating the long-tracked violent tornadoes that we experienced last week. If you live in the orange area here, that's the enhanced risk. And keep in mind, the Storm Prediction Center will continue to update this through the day. So it could shift around a little bit. Maybe they move the orange a little bit to the right. Maybe they move it a little bit to the back. The bottom line is this orange area here and the yellow area, you might have some severe thunderstorm warnings later tonight, maybe a tornado warning, especially in this orange zone. If you get into the green and the light green, less and less chances for severe weather, less chances for warnings. The line of storms will push through the entire area late tonight, mostly after midnight, and some severe thunderstorm warnings will probably be issued by the St. Louis, Missouri National Weather Service Office, Paducah, Kentucky, and Memphis National Weather Service Offices. Certainly, I am planning on some warnings being issued, but the widespread tornadoes and wind damage that we experienced last week, that is not what we are expecting from this event. It's a different setup. But as I always say, remember too, it only takes one. It only takes one tornado. It only takes one severe thunderstorm to cause problems. And that's all you and your family care about is that one thunderstorm. So let's be alert tonight for some watches and warnings. Keep the weather radios on. I will be utilizing the texting service, of course. Let's take a look at some models. Let's take a look at future cast radar. This is what radar might look like over the next 12 to 18 hours. We'll just move through today and we see those showers in our area pushing off to the east, northeast. Some general rain, light rain, nothing severe, nothing significant. But keep an eye out to the west. Here comes the cold front and look what happens as that front moves eastward. Showers and thunderstorms develop along it. Some of those storms could be on the heavy side, possibly severe. As we've mentioned, we'll see this wavy squall line. Now, when you see a wavy squall line like that and the atmosphere is primed for some severe weather, you can get damaging wind gusts and even some embedded tornadoes, short-lived tornadoes within the line. We call those QLCS tornadoes. So we'll keep moving through the evening hours into the wee hours of the morning. We'll stop here at 1 a.m. 
and then 2 a.m. 2 a.m. is starting to approach our northwestern counties uh, up towards Randolph County, Illinois, uh, St. Genevieve County in southeast Missouri, and to the west of Poplar Bluff. But as we move through uh, the next few hours, 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., the front will continue to push through the entire area and by 4 a.m. in the morning, you see it's it's already reaching the Mount Vernon area, Carbondale, Vianna, down into Cairo, and then east of Poplar Bluff into the Boot Hill. Now, this may not be exact. This is a model, so keep that in mind. It gives you a general idea what to expect. And you notice how sharp the line is. You're still going to have some risk for uh, dime to nickel size hail and some strong and gusty winds as the cold front, as the squall line plows through the area. Still going to have some risk for some gusty winds and can't rule out some severe thunderstorm warnings for damaging winds. The threat for the QLCS tornadoes is greatest to our west, greatest over, let's say, Randolph County, St. Genevieve, and then down into south central Missouri. A less and less and less risk, lesser risk as you move off to the east. Not a zero risk in this area for a short lived tornado, but a small risk. I'll be up with the system all day and night. I will post some more videos as we move through this evening and update everybody. It will be a late night event past midnight, so keep your weather radios on and your text messaging service. I'll have that up and running. Just go to bodotsandweather.com to sign up for that.